G'day, and welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I've got a quick little video um, involving some basic maths, um, but it's for those that want to know how you can dial onto target with old style sites. So iron sites and actually still sort of dial onto target like you can with a, with a modern scope. Um, it, and you, it uses some complicated maths and your ballistic tables or your apps or your whatever it is will get you to that place and then some fairly simple maths. So what I'm talking about is this sort of style here of site. This is the M94 ladder site um, or tang sites on the back of the old rifles like the Sharps rifle and that sort of stuff or the ones, there's all sorts of different sites. But when you're talking about a forward and a rear site and you want, and you've got an adjustable height on here. So you're trying to do, this is long range to extreme long range, but you want to adjust on a target with those sites. Now, a lot of rifles using the correct ammo have numbers written on already, um, and that's what I've seen. So 600, 700, 800, that sort of thing. The military rifles will tend to have that sort of stuff written on them, made for the ball ammo they were designed to use. That was, that was what it was. They have those specifications there. And that works well for that situation. You can obviously do the trial and error thing. You can guess and shoot out there and adjust according to get onto target. And if you write all your data down as to what it is, then you'll know what you're doing. But in the way of a bit what I sort of do and the way of taking around and trying to make it work well and then go out there and, and I'll tend to use, because I use scoped rifles a lot, I've got ballistic data. So I'll be able to plug in the numbers of what I've got and come out with what I need. Uh, and recently I just did that with a rifle which was the, the Sharps. That was around 200 minutes, was 196 minutes of elevation that I felt I was going to need. Um, and all testing, but how was I going to get there and how to dial that, that sight on? Now, there's a few ways to do it um, from drawing lines on the ground to, to make sense of, uh, on the table to make sense of things and adjust in this same sort of maths. But I'll explain it on a rifle as best I can. Now this is my 4570 short sight radius. I'll go with some round numbers to make it a little bit easier. But let's say this is short and this is only 340. But let's say we're talking a more average sort of distance here of 500 millimeters. Yes, I'm going to talk millimetres, a bit easier than going with fractions, but I'm going to talk millimetres to make it nice and straightforward. Um, and for those who don't know millimetres, then it's your turn to a bit of conversion. Normally it's the other, it's the, it's the, it's the metric people have to do it. And this conversation is going to be metric. So let's say it's 500 millimetres of distance from there to there. Um, the other thing you need to know, you need to have already worked out and don't need any more complicated tool than, than a rule. Um, Verniers, some form of measuring stick, a tape measure, uh, some form or other measure things. But I already need to know in some form or other where my zero at 100 yards. Just like I'm zeroing my scope, I need to know where that is. I need to have a measuring point which I can say, okay, that is my point which I'm going to be measuring from. So there's that. I make sure I can transfer that over to here so I know I have what the zero would be with this up and down in whatever form, tang sites, wherever it is, I know where zero is and I'm going up from there. Okay, so now how do we find out this bit here, this, this, this elevation or turn this into MOA? Well, we do it with some very basic maths, like I said. What we actually are going to need to do is work out, we have a site radius, we're, that, we're going to turn that into the circumference of our circle. Now, of a circle, I should say, not our circle. Um, the circumference of a circle, and that is because an MOA is a part, is, a, is a, a minute of angle of a circumference of a circle. That's what it actually is. So you have 60 minutes to a degree, and you have 360 degrees to a circle. So now we use fairly, like I said, fairly basic mass. We have this radius, so to get that, to turn it into a circumference of a circle to do this mass, we times the radius by two to turn it into a diameter, and then the equation for a circumference is diameter times pi. So this 500 would turn into a thousand, so a thousand millimeters times 3.14. It's a short number for pi, but it'll do for what we want. What we end up with there is 3140. That's the circumference of our circle. Now we do that other mass, which is we divide it by 360, which gets us down to a degree. That ends up with, um, I've got it written down, 8.72 millimeters is what one degree measures. If we divide that by 60, 
we end up with a number which is 0 0.1453. That is the size of one, de one minute of angle. Don't worry about trying to measure it because we're actually after 200 minutes of MOA, 200 minutes of angle. So then we times that by 200 and we end up with 29 millimeters. So like I said, fairly basic mass. We, if you, and I'll write it down there. Basically, we find the circumference of our site radius um, and then divide that by 360, divide that by 60, and then times it by uh, MOA. Might be a little confusing. I've got it written down there to make that make sense. But 29 millimeters is what we're chasing. So we set our rule back up here. We slide this up to the side here, 29 millimeters. We are now dialed in to 200 MOA. Close enough at least to 200 MOA. That is what I've just dialed in and how you can get in the ballpark, I'll put the stick down, in the ballpark of shooting at 200 MOA. And yes, we've got something that's a little, um, this, these things are, a little more complicated, you've got a different hole position and all that sort of stuff. But in a good set of hands, you'd be surprised how accurate that sort of thing is. They really do shoot well and you are able to dial on. You are able to get very close in the first thing rather than doing a whole heap of exploratory shots. Hey, listen, I suppose whatever floats your boat, you want to do more shoot shots to get there and figure it, figure it all out and do it each time, then you have to go that way. But in actual fact, you can dial in. And of course, that's the same for your tang site or your swing up sights or all the different ways of doing it. It all works in the same fashion. Um, and like I said, fairly basic mass involving some complicated stuff on your app or your tables and things like that. But just using our new school way of doing things um, it, with the old school stuff with, like I said, with some pretty basic mass. Anyway, guys, I hope that made some sense. I hope that was um, worth the listen. Thanks for checking in. We'll catch you next time.